Hi, this is John Morgan, and I want to share something that's both fun and creative. I want to talk about how you can mix custom pieces into a design and actually make the door styles and finishes match the rest of the room. Give you a great example. My plan right here has been laid out in the sample F, the generic catalog, and everything is a square raised with a slab drawer front, and it is an aloof gray Sherwin Williams paint. I already know that ahead of time. But I have a piece that my customers ask for. They want a B2D24-2, which is a two drawer with two door base cabinet. Now my standard line may not make that cabinet. That's not a problem. Maybe we can have that cabinet custom made by the same manufacturer, or maybe we go to a custom manufacturer, have that cabinet made, add to our kitchen, and we will then match the doors and the finish. If we take a quick look at this cabinet, you'll notice that this cabinet is not a loof gray. It is actually a stained cabinet. And if we go back and take a look at the entire room, you'll see that the entire room is gray with square and slabs. And of course, this cabinet doesn't match. So how do we make this custom piece match the rest of the room to satisfy our client? It's actually pretty simple. Let me show you what I would do. First of all, I pick another cabinet from the room so that I can find out what materials we did use, what selections we have chosen. So I'll go to the base cabinet, I'll go to its attributes, and I want to learn a little bit. You'll see right here it's a gray with square rays slab door. But what square rays and what slab drawer front did we use? We'll go to variables. See right here where it says quantity? I can go down and look at my door style and say, okay, the door style is number 12. I'm going to write that down. I'm going to go down to drawer style. Drawer style is number 205. I'm going to write that down. The last thing I want to do is change my texture. Now you notice that all of my textures on the doors are this gray. And if I click on it, I can open it up and find out that it's aloof gray with a flat finish. I can highlight this code number and on my keyboard, hold the control key down, tap the letter C. That copies it. I can cancel out of there. Now I'm going to be able to paste that color on my custom cabinet in just a moment. So let's go to the custom cabinet. Let's highlight it. Let's go down to attributes. We'll go to variables. And the first thing I'm going to do is change the door. So I'll look for door in my list, click on it. Sometimes you'll have to go to quantity to find door depending on the type of catalog you're using. I'll go down in my list and find out that I'm currently using door style 504. If I click on the browse button, I know that that door was a, uh, was a mortise and tenon door. So I'll click on the doors and you'll notice the door number 12, which is the door I used in the other line, happens to be the very first one listed. So I'm just going to click on that and I've quickly and easily made that change. Next, I'm going to go to drawer. Now I'm clicking on drawer, but again, in some catalogs, you'll have to choose quantity and then see drawer there. Now when I click on drawer, I'm going to come down here to where it says drawer style right here. On the right hand side, I'm going to browse. I'm going to click on mortise and tenon drawer fronts. I actually used a slab drawer front on this. And if we scroll down to the 200 series, remember we wrote down 205. It's this drawer front right here. I'll click on it. Now I have a slab drawer front. Pretty simple. Last thing that I need to do, I need to change the finish. So let's click on texture. And on the right hand side, everywhere where we see the brown or the wood stain, we're going to make that gray. So I'll click right here. I'll simply highlight the existing code and on my keyboard, I'll hold control down, tap the letter V, click OK. I'll go to the next one and I'm going to do the same thing. And then we'll go to the next one. I'm just simply looking for the wood stains to make my changes. Double click again, control V. And we'll do the last couple here. They're pretty quick when you go through and do this. Depending on the customizations that you've chosen, um, it may have more of these blocks for you to change than others. But you'll see even in this one, which is fairly custom, I was pretty easily and pretty quickly able to change that cabinet. This cabinet now has the same exact finish, the same drawer front type, and the same door type too. Now let's click OK. And to wrap this up, let's go take a quick look at this again. And as this renders, you're going to notice that the custom piece that we've added to the design, the custom piece that's going to meet our client's needs and close the sale, now matches the rest of the kitchen. For other great ideas, tips, and inspiration, please join us at 2020spaces.com forward slash community. 